Oh my gosh, Gabe, do you need to go to the hospital? No, I'm, I'm gonna be all right. Just go, go to the kitchen, get the super glue, and we'll just, we'll just glue it back together. It'll be, it'll be fine. So you might be wondering how I wound up in the floor with my hand in the air hoping gravity will stop the bleeding while waiting on my wife to find the super glue so she can do a little redneck field medicine. Well, it all starts with stress management. So several months ago, I was gearing up for a product launch and what was gonna be a real make or break moment for my business. I had put literally years into this project and it was gonna determine really the future of my entire company. And around that time, I realized that I was carrying just a ton of stress and it was messing up everything else. It was messing up my sleep and my diet and my relationships and I was just carrying around this massive burden. So I started trying various things to manage the stress and I eventually landed on yard work. There was just something soothing and relaxing about going out into my yard and cutting the grass and pulling weeds and, and all the things it takes to maintain a yard. Plus the guy I bought my house from was in his mid nineties and right after I bought the house he said, yeah, I didn't think I was gonna live this long and he had just kind of let the place go and so everything was grown up in various places there were lots of trees and bushes and, and all sorts of stuff that just needed to be taken care of needed to be removed or cut back or just made nicer and so i started acquiring various tools to help me do this effectively but after a while i realized what i really needed was a chainsaw And I absolutely fell in love with this thing. There were so many trees and large bushes that you just needed something with a little more power to be able to take care of them. And so I was running around different parts of my yard, cutting things down and removing this and trimming that and pruning this thing over here. And yeah, it was a ton of fun. And every day I would go out into the yard and work and it was amazing at helping me manage the stress and detach from everything that was going on and just turn my brain off for a while. But you know what you should never do while operating a chainsaw? Turn your brain off. And I don't know how it happened exactly, but basically my mind was wandering. I was thinking about something else while cutting a stump. I was trying to cut off the stump right down at the ground and my finger got a little bit too close to the blade. And when I say a little too close, I mean, I mean the blade was inside my finger. Ah! And so all of a sudden I am just snapped back to reality and I look down and my glove is just shredded. And so I pull it off real quick and the big chunk of my finger is just flapping, just kind of hanging off, not bleeding yet, which I find to be kind of odd. And I'm just staring at it. And all of a sudden my finger was like, oh, oh yeah, I, I should be bleeding profusely at this point. And it just starts going, it just gushing. And so I'm putting pressure on it and I run into the house and I get a bunch of paper towels and I get some ice to try to cool it off, to try to slow down the bleeding and my blood pressure is getting weird and so I'm getting this like kind of tunnel vision type deal going on and I'm putting the pressure down and then and then I lay down in the floor and I'm holding my finger up in the air just hoping gravity will kind of help with this whole process and, and that's when my wife comes in and, and finds me and I definitely needed stitches but I didn't want to go to the hospital or the emergency room and, and deal with all that so I was, I was like just go to the kitchen drawer and get the super glue and we'll, we'll just we'll just put it back together I'm not gonna look at it because if I do I'm probably gonna pass out or throw up because this thing is I mean it's just kind of gnarly and so she does she goes to the kitchen gets the super glue comes back also fun fact super glue that you have just lying around your house is not the same as the super glue they use in the emergency room or the hospital uh, it's a very different thing uh, fun fact i didn't realize this until weeks after i had done this but anyway she gets it and she cleans it which hurt pretty terribly but she kind of finds a way to put this big flap back together and you can't really i mean there's some interesting scarring still to this day but you know she glued it all back together we wrapped it up and, uh, and, and yeah, it, it worked out. And thank goodness it didn't get infected or anything. I just had to wear this big bandage for a while. But unfortunately, it was right in the middle of this big project, this big, big launch campaign. And so I'm having to type out comments and re respond to emails and all sorts of stuff. And I can't type. I literally can't do anything with this finger because it hurts so bad if I, if I touch it on anything. And so I had to completely relearn how to type without this finger and so emails and messages and everything took way longer and was just so much more frustrating during that entire time. So what was supposed to help me have less stress ended up causing more stress, but just by the sheer grace of God, I didn't lose my entire finger. Otherwise, this would be a very different video. And you better believe I am far more focused now when using that chainsaw, but let's talk about some ways to manage stress that don't involve 
power tools. The first thing is to identify your stressors. What are the situations and the people and the activities that cause you stress? I bet you don't have to think too hard to figure those out. And once you've identified them, what are some ways you can either avoid those things or just come up with strategies to cope with them? The second thing is to maintain a healthy lifestyle. And I know it's become cliche at this point to say, oh, well, you just need to eat right and exercise and get enough sleep. But there's a reason why those things keep coming up in video after video, study after study, because those things are vital important in stress management I know when I'm not taking care of myself my body my mind stress is much more challenging to deal with the third thing is to practice relaxation techniques this could be meditation or prayer or just some deep breathing in a room where you just got your eyes closed and the lights are down low and just taking a few minutes to still your mind to quiet your soul and to take any idea captive and just say you know what I'm not gonna think about all the crazy that's going on in my life I'm just gonna think about nothing as much as I possibly can. It's one of those things that you think about and you're like, ah, there's no way this works, right? And now I've been super skeptical, but my best friend has started practicing meditation and these techniques and it revolutionized his life. And so I can just go from that evidence and other people that I've talked to that meditation really works and I probably need to do a lot more of it myself. The fourth thing is to set boundaries basically learn to say no and i know it can be super hard because there's so many cool things and shiny objects and opportunities out there but every time you say yes to something you're actually saying no to a whole bunch of other things because you have limited time and effort and energy and resources and so the more you say yes to things the more you're piling on and the more likely you are to become overwhelmed and stressed out so set boundaries stick to them say no the fifth thing is to prioritize and manage your time create a schedule stick to it just in the way you're going to stick to your boundaries stick to the way your weeks and your days and your hours are supposed to work because i know personally when i get outside of those things and i say okay i'm going to do this over the next few hours and then it expands and it becomes you know a few days well all of a sudden other things start getting messed up and my entire schedule gets thrown off whether it's with my family or my job or my creative projects and so the better i manage my time and prioritize my time the less stress i have and one thing i've found over the years is that i always have just enough time for the things i make time for but it's all about priorities the sixth thing is to stay connected to people you care about especially if you can spend time together in the same room you just miss out on the little nuances of human interaction if you're only talking to people over zoom or facetime and so just being around other people we were created for community to be around each other and you know one thing I, I've loved doing recently it's almost almost every day almost every evening is my son and I will go out into the yard and we'll just play catch and I'm not worried about what's on my phone or what's going on with my business or the YouTube channel or anything else all the stress of life just kind of disappears and I'm only worried about catching the ball throwing it back catching the ball throwing it back number seven is to develop healthy coping mechanisms emphasis on the healthy i know a lot of times we want to cope with a big old gallon of ice cream but it's much better to exercise or to read or to go for a walk or to listen to music anything that can just kind of help you detach from whatever's going on get away from the stress in a healthy way number eight is to practice mindfulness basically to be more aware of the present moment a lot of times we get more stressed because we're so worried about tomorrow or next week or what could happen later and 99 percent of the time we're just creating these scenarios that are never even going to happen anyway so we're creating stress based on our imagination not even based on reality and so just to take some time and be aware of what's happening right now and be in kind of just find a way to enjoy the moment and to be thankful for what you have things could always be a lot worse number nine is to maintain a sense of humor nothing will remove the power of a stressful situation like a really good laugh and so the more you can just kind of step back and look at a situation and have a good little chuckle or just watch a silly video or a funny movie with people you care about the more you'll be able to handle and cope with the stress and remember to never take life too seriously because no matter what, you're not gonna make it out alive. And number 10 is to seek professional help if you need it. I know there's a lot of stigma and negativity around going to a counselor or a therapist and that's super unfortunate because sometimes you just need to talk to someone who's been trained, who's got degrees, who has read all the books and taken all the courses and seminars, who can actually put words to whatever it is that you're going through 
And so if you get to that place, I just want to encourage you, you know, whatever people around you, whatever family, your friends might say, don't worry about it. You got to take care of your own mind, your own body, your own life. And sometimes that means seeking out professional help. But I would love to hear about the ways that you manage stress. So let me know down in the comments the things that you do that don't involve potentially losing a finger. And if you find yourself feeling a bit stuck right now, make sure you check out this video where I break down why that might be the case and how to overcome it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.